Hey, third grade, I'm going to go over this slide here, okay? Uh, this slide, I have some diagrams and I have some pictures that I took, all right? I think this is going to be a good resource or a good tool for you uh, playing. First thing, up top, I have an A, a B, and a C, okay? C's over there. I'll move out of the way, okay? And on that, it's got a lot of information. It's got the name of the note. It has the treble clef. It has the five-line music staff and then it has a picture or a drawing of the notes okay and what they look like on the music staff now in those diagrams um, I always remind people that the B and the C note they're going to look upside down a lot of beginners get confused why are they upside down and I always describe one it's just how it looks in these examples but two I always say, if someone grabbed you by the ankles and held you upside down, you are actually the same person. You are just upside down. Same with this B and the C example here. It's still a B note. It's still a C note. It's just upside down. Okay? It's going to sound the same, just looks a little different. Okay? All right? If you look at the bottom, in the right, there's a small little diagram of our ukulele fretboard. Okay, all right. I'm not going to spend a lot of time today on this because we're going to work on that skill later. But these are going to help us when we start learning how to play chords. But the trick is, the ukulele in that picture is going straight up and down. It is not sideways. Okay. What I do want to tell you is in the A example, the circle is open. Okay, it's not colored in. It is open because the string is open. We're not using this hand. It's by itself. It is open. The B and the C's, they are colored in. They are colored in because that is showing us where to put our finger. Okay? Or when we get the chords, it will be fingers. But, all right, so it's colored in. It's, this is on the fret number two, and this one's colored in the fret number three, which we already talked about. Underneath, I took some pictures of how to play the A note, how to play the B note, and how to play our C note. Okay, in the A note example, okay, I put my hand sideways this way just to show you that I do not need any fingers at all. The thumb, not in the right place, but it's just an example to remind you that you don't need any fingers for the A note. The B and the C, okay, showed you exactly what that is, okay? All three of these examples are for right-handed uh, players. If you are a left-handed player, what you can do is you can hold your ukulele, okay, just a reminder, I am a left-handed player, that's why I'm holding it the other direction compared to the pictures. What I like to do is say, use this like a mirror if you are left-handed, okay? If you're trying to learn maybe the B note, all right, you know that it's two fingers. And what I can do is I can hold my ukulele this way and I can match it to what it looks like up there, okay? I hope this helps. This is a really good resource. Um, always go back to it if you need help of what it looks like, especially with the pictures. Good luck, third grade, with your examples coming up.